Welcome. Today we will look at you as a stakeholder selecting images. But we also see how other stakeholders use images to tell a story and how stakeholders are used in certain ways to frame a story. Let's go back to the Sarava Dam in Gujarat, India. In this photograph, you don't see anything related to who is using or maintaining the dam. In this photo, we are also at the dam. Now, we don't see the dam directly, but we do see some people interacting with the dam. We see three men dressed smartly. It is clearly an official occasion. We see flowers and garlands, empty ceremonial chairs and guards. The person on the left is explaining something to the other two. When we read the title and where the image comes from, it tells us it is an official picture of the office of the Prime Minister. The man in the middle is India's Prime Minister Modi, and the man to the right is his Minister of Transport, Gadkari. The image represents the importance of large infrastructures to a much larger region than just the environment of the dam. This kind of representation, including national authorities uploading photos on a large royalty-free image repository like Wikimedia, shows us that governments act actively influence the narrative surrounding dams. This makes sense because the narrative is not always positive. For the building of dams, indigenous communities are often displaced and the connected water systems change dramatically. One of the pictures I came across when I looked for another dam, the Belo Monte Dam in Brazil, was of an indigenous person holding what looks like a petition. When you look closely, you see that he is in Europe, Paris to be precise. The title tells us that he is in a very special place in Paris, a square called Parvis Droit de l'Homme, dedicated to human rights. A place where people from all over the world have come to protest injustices and violations of human rights. It is a powerful image, but it's important to balance photos like this with images that show how broad and diverse the involved stakeholders actually are. These pictures, for example, show that the protest is much broader and goes through all layers of society. We see global stakeholders like Greenpeace, but also a street artist from Sao Paulo protesting the dam. I found these images a couple of weeks months ago. When I revisit the website, Hundreds of official photos had been added. After only one visit of the Brazilian vice president to the energy factory connected to the dam, I had to scroll way down to see images of the counter-narrative of protests. It might not even be intentional, but it is a good reminder that to look beyond the images that are the easiest to find or that come through the official channels. Remember, the word framing comes from photography. Which objects do you choose to show in your frame, and which ones do you leave out? When you see an image, always keep in mind, what is it that you don't see? <laughs>